Hi, this is Eddie, reporting live from Chicago. Today is Earth Day, and I want to show you some of the world's fabulous resources and nature things too. Here we have the flowers. Every spring they bloom into the most beautiful flowers you've ever seen. There are flowers all around us. If we if we take the time to smell them, we, we, enjoy, we enjoy their beautiful scent. Remember kids, never pick flowers. They're important to nature. And up here we have those little green things called buds. Every spring, the trees grow into beautiful buds, like these. And in the summer, they change into beautiful leaves. And in the fall, the leaves turn red, orange, yellow, and brown, and they fall. In the winter, the trees and the branches are bare. Did you know that animals live in trees? Like birds and squirrels? Trees also give us healthy food to eat, like apples, bananas, and oranges. And trees clean the air they breathe. I mean, and trees clean the air we breathe with their leaves. That part of the tree is called bark. Bark is important to the trees. I mean, just imagine the dog is living next to a tree and it barks like this. Bark, 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 bark. And over here, we have grass. The reason why the grass is green is because it has chlorophyll. Every spring, the rain drops down to the soil and it grows into beautiful grass. Animals like to eat grass. And that's part of nature. Now over here we have tulips. They come in all different colors, like red, yellow, and orange. This is the lake. It is home to many different water birds, like ducks. Every summer, my dad and I feed the ducks and geese some food, like breadcrumbs. And over here, we have dogs. There are all different kinds of dogs. Dogs love the, the, dogs love the great outdoors. You stop to if you if you take the time to time to look at them, you'll see that they're doing their own thing. And up ahead, we have a duck. Did you know that ducks love to eat breadcrumbs? This duck loves to paddle in the pool or the lake. But you have to be careful around ducks because once you touch a duck, you scare it away. Hi duck, what a beautiful day today. Enjoy your swim. And here we have a garden where they grow all sorts of fruits and vegetables. Nature gives us food we eat, a place to live, and some water to drink. Nature is all around us. When you look around, you'll find nature everywhere, including the flowers. On Old McDonald's farm, Old McDonald grows some fruits and vegetables for people to eat. I guess all that food talk made me hungry. And these are geese. 
east via south for the winter and come back north for the spring. For example, these Canada geese have just flown back from the winter to, to drink some water. It rains so hard that there's enough water for the geese to drink. Drink up, geese. And here we have some trees, flower trees. They come in pink and green and white too. In a moment, they'll become buds. The palm petals will peel right off. They look like cherry blossoms. And over here, this is the bird migration protection area. It's where lots of birds migrate to warmer places, but they always come back in the spring. Remember kids, do not feed the birds. It attracts rats. Rabbits are often found in Chicago, but they are rarely seen. This rabbit often hides in bushes but I found one on screen. Did you know that rabbits like this one are often used in movies and TV shows? Take Bugs Bunny, for example. Eh, what's up, Doc? And then there's the Easter Bunny. Every Easter, he hops around delivering Easter baskets to children everywhere. <laughs> but in real life, Rabbits are found in the wild. Hi, Mr. Rabbit. Hope you enjoy the spring. Starlings are birds that make a chirping sound. Starlings are found in Chicago. Well, usually, but some fly away to look for food. Even big birds can't do that. This is a cat. She's sleeping. I wish I had a cat. My dad won't let me get one. Because we don't allow cats in, in the apartment building. So I'll just leave this cat alone so she can sleep in peace. Hello, cat. And these are fish, which what we call salmon. Fish swim in water because they love, they love it, especially in the ocean. Fish like these swim in, swim in oceans, lakes, and rivers, especially in streams. If you see a fish, ask your mom and dad about it, and he or she will tell you what kind of fish it is. This is the Nettle Horse Chicken Coop. It's where all the chickens live. They're resting right now, but I think they're laying eggs. I think they're fluffing their feathers. And they're clucking. I got a joke to tell them. Hey chickens, I got a funny joke for you. Why did a chicken cross the road? Give up to get to the other side. <laughs> okay, 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 I got more chicken jokes. Why did a chicken cross the playground? You're right to get to the other, to the other slide. 
<laughs> I think they like my chicken jokes. Okay, okay, okay. I got another one. Um, I got another question to tell you. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? I think you came first, chickens, because you're the ones who laid the eggs. Without eggs, you wouldn't have them for breakfast. See this chicken? It's fluffing its feathers. And this one is taking a dust bath. Um, chickens, I got another question to ask you. Did you know that chickens are used in Chicken Run? Have you ever seen Chicken Run? It's one of the, it's a DreamWorks movie that came out in 2000. You might want to see it sometime. Oh. Oh. Someday, you're gonna you're gonna watch Chicken Run and see the action and adventure in comedy too. Oh, you got some more eggling to do? Okay, it's been fun talking with you. Bye. Whoa! And be careful. And be careful, chicken. Ugh. You don't want to get my clothes dirty. That concludes my Earth Day video. Tune in next week for more nature documentaries. Until then, this is Eddie Kite saying, keep the earth clean. Bye for now.